Hello, this is Pavel. There are situations where producers generate so much data that consumers are not able to keep up. So the consumers are overwhelmed by data from producers and are not able to process all of this data. This situation where consumers limits the producer speed is called back pressure. And this back pressure can consequently lead to system collapse because you run out of resources. In this very video, I'm going to tell you how to handle back pressure. So there are there are four strategies how to handle back pressure. So you can make the consumer stronger. Mm -hmm. So he can keep up. So you make the you can vertical scale so scale up or horizontal scale scale out your consumers all right you can also control the producer so you tell producer not to send so much data or uh, consumers can pull the data from producers or you can limit the number of data the producers send every time or you can cancel the subscription so the consumers when are when they are overwhelmed they skip the data and uh, the third one you can provide buffering so when you accumulate the data for some time temporarily and a consumer then can keep up but still this can lead to this can lead to uh, run out of memory or storage and the fourth one you can throw the data away so you can lose if you can if you can afford to lose some data it can be the strategy for you so which strategy you adopt in your system it depends on the problem at hand because you need to know about trade-off when you think about these strategies because uh, you can uh, run out of uh, resources or your response time will be longer or you can lose some data so you need to uh, think about it but uh, it's beneficial to know it to understand this concept of back pressure and how to handle this back pressure with these strategies so you can find the optimal solution and when we take a look at how dds can handle back pressure DDS offers QoSs and uh, they can be tuned to uh, handle back pressure. So you can use reliability when you use best effort. The middleware don't use any resources to, to handle back pressure. And uh, the middleware is allowed to lose some data. When you use reliability, there, there are used some strategies like ECNEC, uh, acknowledgements, to provide reliability in your communication. Or you or also history, history QoS determine how much data will be sent and also it uh, specify how the queue will be uh, will be long so how many data the middleware will store but there is a one QS parameter on the 
subscriber site and this parameter is called time based filter and you can set it to some milliseconds and what does this parameter tell us it uh, instruct the middleware and uh, you can specify the minimum time between consecutive samples and so the middleware can no it, it, i say it a different way so samples which are produced with quicker rate are not delivered or are not processed so let me show you how it works so i have this producer and i set this with history let's say three and i set the time-based filter okay and you will see that only samples that uh, that are within this time period two seconds are displayed i can subscribe here with time based filter one second with history free and i will see that each second the data will be shown and delivered to this subscriber so this policy time-based filter controls the bandwidth and the resources on the subscriber side you have to be careful because when you specify that the communication is reliable the filtering take place on the subscriber side all the samples will be sent anyway but the filtering will be done on the subscriber side if you want to uh, uh, the filtering take place on the producer side you need to specify the best effort communication reliability and also you have to be careful when you use when you send data to multiple subscribers the data will be sent in the rate of the of the fastest subscriber so now there are the data are published uh, in one second because this subscriber wants it in two seconds all right so uh, when you want you to use this filter time-based filter it's uh, best suited for example for gps data because you ca you are you can afford to lose some data when you are using periodical data such as gps data so if you are interested in dds write me what is your biggest challenge uh, you are currently facing in your dds learning all right see you bye bye